Sure, you may have noticed, but we're living in troubled times here, are we too? The resistance wants last legs hanging on the ruins, and the First Order, they're turning our homes upside down trying to find them. But in times of great darkness, there's always been light. I mean, just think of Luke Skywalker. When the Empire had to hold the galaxy, he fought back. And so now we have Rey, who's been trying to bring that same spark of hope back to the galaxy once again. And that's why we believe you're all here, too. To change the galaxy just like Luke and Rey, but that's, uh, Pretty big job, and they had a specific tool that you don't, but I think that's why you're all here. For the lightsaber. It's an elegant and enigmatic weapon from a much more civilized age, but it's more than that, really. It's an art form, one that we gatherers are desperately trying to restore. Now, the lightsaber you build today will be a reflection of you and the principles you force, it surrounds us and binds us to the galaxy and the lightsaber is the conduit which it does this. But it can't do anything without the Kyber crystal. Now this small crystal will be the heart of your lightsaber. It will focus and amplify the force, expressing it into a blade. Now the color of your crystal will determine the color of your blade and we have four colors for all of you to choose from it. Believe me, it was no easy task, but it's a long story. For now, we'll just go over the ones we have for you, beginning with blue. Now, this one's been held by Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, and now, by Rey. Next, we have Green. This one's been held by Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Luke Skywalker, and even Mastery of it himself. Violet. This one is so rare and so beautiful, like the one held by Master Mace Windu. And finally, we have Red, <coughs> the crystal of power. Azaj Venturous, Darth Maul, Darth Vader, and currently Kylo Ren. But those were their stories. Your stories begin right now. Ian and Bryce are bringing around canisters of crystals for you all to select from. Trust only in the Force and let it guide you as you choose the crystal that calls after you. Yes. They say the Force works in mysterious ways, so there time. are no wrong choices, I assure you. I know I just said no wrong choices. It's usually a bad guy. It matches my tone. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> I made a good 
Did you really do that? from disintegrating. Probably. Now these pieces that we've laid out in front of you are all be gathered from across the galaxy, so go ahead, pick them up and take a closer look. Oh, it's empty. It's empty lighter. And these pieces can be kind of confusing and overwhelming, so it's probably best we go over them one by one. So let's explore together. Starting in the far left, that is your chassis, the home of your Kyber crystal. Columns one and two, your sleeves. Column three, your emitters. Column four, your end caps. And finally, column five contains a matching set of activation plates. Now, I will be leading you through the build process with my friends here to assist if necessary. With that said, are you ready to build a lightsaber? Yes! All right, let's build. We're gonna start in the far left with our chassis and our kyber crystals. So take your kyber crystals and insert them into this center crystal chamber. Now, within this crystal chamber, on one end, there's gonna be a spring pad. You're gonna to need to utilize this to wedge your crystal straight up and down inside. Oh. Additionally, there's a divot on the top right? and bottom for you to get the point of your crystal into. So make sure you get the top and bottom of your crystal in those divots. It will secure it into place. This is actually the hardest step of the process, so please don't be shy. Don't be afraid to ask for some help. It is what we're here for. Once your crystal is securely inside, it should glow and frequently hum to you. So, if you get your crystal inside and it doesn't glow, doesn't hum for a moment, let one of my friends know, they'll take a closer look. I am seeing a good number of our crystals glowing, so we're going to move right along to the next step. Next step, we're going to jump all the way across to column 5. Column 5 has two matching sets of activation plates. You'll be picking one matching set, then turn them over. You'll notice on the inside, one will have a red square in the corner, the other a blue rectangle. And if you look back to your chassis, you'll see the same red square and blue rectangle. Your goal, like a puzzle, is to match the red square directly on top of red square. Blue rectangle directly on top of blue rectangle. These pieces should snap in place. And once they're secured, go ahead. Try activating. It's not actually going to activate yet. We haven't stabilized it, but you should hear that initial. Misfire noise. It is very, very important. If you hear that misfire noise, anytime you slide that switch up throughout the process. So, if that ever changes, let us know. But I am hearing a lot of misfire noises, so we're going to move on to the next step. Next step, we're going to go back across to columns one and two. Columns oh, one and two have four sleeves for you to choose from. You can pick any two sleeves, mix and match, however you wish. The only rule with these sleeves, if I could have everyone's attention for just a moment, I was up here very quickly. At the very end of every single sleeve, there's going to be a large thick band. That thick band always needs to go on first. So it is touching your activation plates in the center. You will then need to apply pressure towards the middle and firmly twist at the same time until it secures the place. Once secure, your sleeves should not move freely and should not fall off of your hilt. If you're having trouble securing those sleeves, first, double check. Make sure those raised thick bands are pointed towards the middle. Second, make sure that you're pushing in and twisting at the same time until it secures into place. If all else fails, wave one of my ankles gathers down, you might have a faulty piece. This is the second part of step, because picking what looks nice can be hard. So, if it helps, the top of your hilt has a hollow opening, that's where the blade will emit from. And speaking of emitting, I think we're ready to go on to column three, where I our emitters are. In column three, you're going to pick one of those two emitters, then gently twist it to the top of your hilt. Again, that's going to be the end of the hollow opening. Dude, I chose the yeah, I chose the right one until here. Clear. I like that one better. <laughs> Once 
your emitter from column three is secured with the hollow open end. You're going to move on to the final step. Column four has two end caps for you to choose from. This oh, set, pretty similar to the what last. Do do? One of those two end caps. Then Jen, yeah, she's one of these two for the bottom. Oh. Of oh, one of these two for the bottom. Yeah. Okay. This piece can cross thread rather easily. Yeah. So if it's by you, Ooh. take it off, recenter, and try again. I actually like for some reason. So once your end cap is secured, oh my you should have a fully completed hilt and you're there. satisfied with your pieces. Go ahead and place your hilt on the stand in front of you to signal to us that you're ready for inspection. Satisfied with your build? Do you mind if I take a look? Yeah. Okay. This is your activation switch. When Drake lets you know, you'll push up to activate, push back down to deactivate. Okay. All activate together in a moment. Okay. I'll take this for you. Thank you. All right, is this the one? Yeah. Can I double check everything? All right. Thing looks and sounds wizard. Very well done. Activation switch is going to be right here. You'll slide this up to activate when I give the word. Down to deactivate. All right. Excellent job. Very nice. Perfect. <laughs> I love that you just went back on and I went straight off. Yeah. I like these. These are really pretty really colors. Awesome. And now, I'll back to that part. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely have time for tonight if we get back to the morning. I'll take it back to the hotel. Excellent job, builders. I've seen some amazing hilts, but now it's time for the most important part. I'm going to take a big step back, away from your workstations. My fellow gatherers are coming around to place your hilts into our crystal stabilization chambers. Now, us gatherers, we're not actually force sensitive that you normally need to be to stabilize a kind of crystal. But we found a way to do it through our very own technology. Now, some people call this cheating. I call those people jealous. It's like it's an easy <laughs> process. We go through a lot of testing and safety protocols. That's why you're all going to put on the safety goggles. We, we, no one has the safety goggles. Bryce, what happened to the goggles? Uh, so we don't, don't need them anymore. Um, so we, if you don't really have to talk about it, because we don't need them anymore. We're fine. That didn't sound super confident, but I believe you. No safety goggles required. It's okay. The blindness is usually temporary anyway, so it's really not that big of a deal. As long as nothing major. Uh, guys, I'm pretty Many parts over now. Join the eye. Yes, lightsaber. It begins. It just time. Your journey. Master Yoda. Builders, the Force must be immensely strong in this room for Master Yoda to appear. This really is your moment to forge that bond between you and your lightsabers. So in just a moment, I'll have you all take a step forward, place your hands on your hilts, and then you'll activate together as one. So go ahead, take that step forward. Place your hands on your hilts and activate. <laughs> There's like three people around. Oh, yeah. Raise your lightsabers. You have just 
built a lightsaber, oh like the Jedi and the Sith before you. And like them, you too can change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spark. Now, come on, raise them high, raise them proud. Congratulations, builders. <laughs> Now please lower and deactivate your lightsabers. That bond has been formed. Ah! Complete your lightsaber age. Like you when it can, but need you, it cannot. Wow. Your journey, you That's both cool. begin. May the force be with you. Thank you, Master Yoda. And thank you, builders. You're each as unique and as extraordinary as the lightsabers you hold in your hands. And in your hands, you hold remarkable power. And remarkable power should not be dropped on the ground. So, to protect 